we have worked very hard to write the document during the, from off season we took the players and prepared them very well. We had them fitness phase, we had that match fitness phase with friendly matches two against Ethiopia, one against Zanzibar. We had that, comp and in those matches, friendly matches, we have tried, tested, and experimented, preparing the team uh, to sign the document uh, in that match in Dar es Salaam, and fully aware the document is not valid if it's not stamped. Uh, tomorrow is chance to stamp the document, fully aware that we are having actually three opponents. Three opponents. Opponent number one is game of football that gives chance to anyone fully aware of that. We want to take care of every single detail that will bring uh, things uh, from a theoretical point, from a mental point, from fitness point, from technical point, from tactical point on our side so that we could put the stamp and uh, qualify for the sixth consecutive time to the champ. On the other side, um, we are having very experienced team of opponents that has reinforced the team with three extra players that have not been last time. Uh, they have changed the coach and brought a respected friend of mine, Honor Janza from Zambia, that is winner of Africa Cup of Nations 2012, that is coach that has coached on Africa Cup of Nations 2015, that is coach that has been technical director of Zambia Football Federation for many years, and now as a coach in Amungo in, Amungo in Tanzania, he got a chance to uh, be the coach of Tanzania in this match. Fully aware about his tactical acumen, about his ability that in short period of time he put his coaching stamp on the team. We respect that. We respect the fact that, for example, one player, number 15, Mohamed Hussein Chavalala, has more matches than all of our players together in the last five years internationally. He has played for Simba in many inter-club competitions. Respecting them, but uh, much more self-respecting ourselves, we have a uh, test of character, measurement of value, and moment to test ourselves to see how far we have reached. Uh, we are having few senior players, and we are having most of the junior players that from boys have chance to become the men. And we shall not allow stone unturned in order on field of play uh, to be stronger than opponent team, to be stronger than the nature of the game of football, and the most important, to be stronger than ourselves, and po possibility of being complacent and underrating the, the, the situation and thinking that we have done something. The only advantage in tomorrow's match we are having is advantage of opponent has nothing to risk. And if opponent has nothing to risk, it will be two boxers that they want to punch each other, I believe, uh, in the work we have done, I believe in voice we are having, I believe in support of all of you, and I believe that uh, um, divine intervention will be there, that in this uh, moment of time we succeed to have everything what it takes to get performance and result. Uh, you need to know that uh, you as a media, you are bridged towards consumers of the game, supporters. and. Uh, there is a match that supporters see 90 minutes, 94 minutes of the game, 95. But there is an invisible game that has been played before that match in Tanzania where we have taken care of every single detail, putting total attention to the deepest detail, where we want to be theoretically fully aware about the strengths, uh, points of uh, strengths of opponent and sources of vulnerabilities. And I'm very happy from three aspects. First, happy that we got the result, like all of us. I'm very happy that we finished the match with two players from under 17 that were supposed to play in Morocco last year, Juma and Mutiaba, that decided the match, and uh, uh, two players from the finals of under 20 from Mauritania, uh, Gavin Kizito and, and Basangwa. This is our huge benefit. But even the biggest benefit is that we have actually capitalized on the uh, sources of vulnerability of the opponent that we have exactly planned, and those are the, I will not like to repeat here because I know even our colleagues will listen, I would like that medicine to work even tomorrow. But players know 
uh, how we work, in what kind of details we are going. We know what are the strong points of opponent. They know what are our strong points. They know what are our weak points. We want our weak points to hide. We want our strong points to pre present. Same like want to close their strong points and expose their sources of vulnerability. And uh, looking into tomorrow, uh, it is a totally different ball game. We need to wash out uh, previous match in Dar es Salaam and to understand that this is a totally different ball game at home. The only advantage, as I say, is advantage that opponent will not sit back, sit back because we in Uganda, we have problems against the uh, teams that are sitting back and defending and trying. These people will come all out and in an open game, I believe that we have what it takes uh, to be cautious in moments when we lose the ball, to have good transition to set defense, to have a perfect balance, and to have top-class transformation when we win the ball in order to hurt them and to endanger their goal. Uh, we have worked very hard on that aspect. Uh, how good we are from... Uh, uh, I want tomorrow's match to be a mirror of what we have done in training session in preparation. I believe in the players. I believe uh, that they are fully aware that our destiny, our destiny purely depends on us. And we look forward to having a good match. As a person that is with uh, plenty of experience in, in African football, I know that in these matches, I need to remove the pressure from the players and put on my shoulders and give them just responsibility and freedom of expression in order to make the nation happy and proud. I think the team goes for the match fitness uh, matches against Ethiopia too. Ethiopia uh, is the team that has beaten Egypt recently and they have shown us and opened us eyes and taught us so many lessons the way we have taught them lessons to prepare for Rwanda, they have taught us lessons to prepare for Zambia. And when someone with the group enters uh, in, in such a process of preparing with the matches against two, against Ethiopia, one against Zanzibar, that team has already a chemistry, and chemistry that has competitive aspect in itself. Now, um, I believe that one or two players still could, from that bracket you have spoken about, could jump in. But instead of speaking about this, last training today will answer us who is competitively ready to jump in and be uh, added value to the team. Uh, same is with the opponent. They have added experience and value of John Boko that for a long period of time has not played, but experience over the years being captain of national team. They believe and his size is something. Simply sends us direction which they want to play football tomorrow. And also adding some of the players that have not been is uh, for them. So both teams, We'll have one or two, three players maximum of added value. Uh, last training today will answer who are the players, uh, and I would not like to talk in advance because training will answer to that question, and we shall uh, use anything possible because our target is uh, clear. Our target is to qualify, and we shall not allow uh, stone unturned in order that to happen. Uh, as I said, believing in the boys, believing in the work and believing in your support, dear Ugandans. There is, uh, you know, for 21 years I'm coach uh, in Africa, eight years uh, I have given diligent service to Uganda and Ugandan football, first as a club coach, as a national team coach. And I want to tell you, um, respecting Tanzania as a team that has ambition, but when we are together as a team, technically and whatsoever, and when we have our player number 12, our supporters beside us, in spirits and present in Chitende, with all due respect, I believe that those are the ingredients that will be enough to help us to qualify. Thank you, Coach. My name is Dick. Ugandans, wherever you are and whatever you do, worldwide or in the country, I would like to use opportunity to express my personal gratitude and appreciation for all the uh, over 3,000 days we have spent together. Fully aware that the biggest power uh, of us in football is power of making many people happy. We would, I would like, with highest degree of respect,
to invite all the people to come tomorrow to Chitende to help to these young boys uh, from boys to become men uh, and together with our player number 12 supporters uh, to get performance and result against top class opponent like Tanzania is uh, that we get result that will take us to the champ. Fully aware that it will not be easy believing in work we have done, believing in players we have, believing in your support. We look forward to see you tomorrow and to raise the index of happiness in the country by making you happy. Thank you very much. Wevele nyo, wevele veda. Thank you for taking training zona Elichita Soroka, Eda Oguagizi Wamu, Nafuja Tong, Eda Muamani, to what he won, to having a team a qualified Gena Muchana and Jerry. That was the Chicola training the Zing Anti, to Lavanti, to do set to Tiamu Boxy, to Tavia Goro, Mekamu training, that one day to Chicola, whether to Chicoze Kodio, and the Mugumunti and Chap to get up from a goal as you will. Uh, Tanzania si mnunji wao tunuli la wasambi wao balunji e, tuba wa respect na ye wetu wele wafe zindaba anti atefe tuba singa kwa balunji ila tuwe tegese tugenda ba wa respect na ye tetuja ba wa new respect kuwa nafe tuli balunji ila ndi mungu mungu ya nchaa tugenda funo wanguzi